Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Topaz Labs Photo AI software. I've been using Topaz Labs products since about 2018 to enhance my safari photography. And Photo AI isn't the AI that you're thinking about that creates fake images, but rather just upscales and sharpens your low quality and noisy images so they have the maximum quality. Now with Photo AI, they just dropped the update for version 4, and there's a link in the description so you can download it. But most importantly, I'll be showing you how to get the free trial in the video so you can follow along and test on your own photos. So with that, we'll hop into the software and I'll show you what's new and how to use it. So on this welcome screen, you can see that it's now Photo AI 4 with the update. And there's a bunch of tutorials. There's about nine of them where you can learn about how to use the sharpening tool, denoise, recover faces, um, super focus, upscale, and removing and selecting. I'll show you some of these. I don't use them all, but especially sharpen, um, denoise, and recover faces is really impressive. Now, linked in the description is how you can download Photo AI 4, and there's actually a free trial for this version, and here's the instructions, so just go ahead and pause the video if you need more time. But essentially, free trial will give you the same functionality as a paid. You just can't actually export it, but you can see the results, kind of similar to what I'm going to show you now. So hopping back out, we'll open images. And the really cool part is you can select a bunch at once. So I'm just gonna drag and select everything in here. And then the trick is to click select all on bottom and then hit apply autopilot. And then you can just toggle between them. It's gonna take some time. You can see on the right that they are being analyzed, but it should be pretty quick. Here on the right, we have the autopilot and it shows us what our suggestions are. It thinks that this is a low resolution image. It needs upscaling, which is ultimately gonna make it a larger file size. And just with that, we can see, especially around the beak, around the eye, that it's a lot sharper. And to my eye, I would have thought it needed sharpening, but there is a difference between a photo being a little soft and out of focus versus it being a low resolution file. So that's where I let autopilot do its thing. You can just click through a few more of these. Um, here's an extremely noisy photo. And if we want to compare uh, side by side, we can click right here. But I personally like the slider as it really lets us zoom in and see all the effects being applied. So here on the right, we'll just wait for a few seconds. It's going through looking at the subject, noise, and yep, it picked noise. So dragging this left to right, we see that all this noise and texture um, has been modified. It's really crisp lines, no noise, and it looks good to go. Zoom back out. You can see just how, um, how zoomed in we were and the level of detail being applied. And then here's just one more photo we can look at. And for this example, it decided it was going to sharpen it. So yeah, we've now seen upscale, denoise, and sharpen, which all ultimately just enhance the photos, but the program's using a different model. And yeah, looking, we see that the texture and the feathers have come back. The softness to the left of the photo has been um, removed. And then just really along the beak, you can start seeing all those sharp cracks and divots that really adds more detail. Now, another thing I want to show you is there is a feature for recovering faces. And this photo was taken out of focus. You can see that the cameras what um, was focused on when this was shot and that my face is um, not in focus. So on the right, it's detected where my face is and that needs to sharpen the subject, which is me. So we'll let it do that and I'll show you a few more things. Okay, so now it says that the photo has been enhanced and it's done. And at a glance, it looks good to me. Maybe it is a little soft. So if you ever find that the results aren't perfectly to your liking, you can go ahead and click on either of these models here. 
and then I'm going to click on recover face and pull up the strength. Sometimes this makes it worse, sometimes it makes it better, but now that it's complete, I actually think it's a lot better. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Now there's all 21 of these photos down here that have been already enhanced. But what I want to show you is this zebra photo, the software doesn't suggest any changes to it. And this is the only instance this has ever happened to me. But it's a great talking point for you have this option to choose something else right here. So what I'm going to do is click that. And now we can see that there's all kinds of different options to apply. Dust and scratch beta, I think that's probably really good if you had a dirty sensor, maybe some old film that you're editing. And then we can see that we can remove objects, add super focus and all these other items that I honestly haven't played around with too much. But for this scenario, I'm just gonna click on sharpen and then I'll also click denoise and see what happens. So it says it's done. That was incredibly fast. We see, especially with the eye, that it is a lot sharper now. And if I just zoom in to 454%, which is crazy, we can see that it's a lot better. Again, once we're cropped in this much and zoomed in this much, it doesn't look perfect, but when we zoom all the way back out, it gets a lot better. And really the purpose is maybe you wanna print these, um, you've upscaled them so they're a larger format to become wall art, or maybe a large screensaver or you're printing for a gallery, um, all kinds of applications for Topaz Labs. Even if it's just like your trip memories and you had one photo that was out of focus on your face. So that is the editing in a nutshell. And as you saw, there are a lot of other things that you can play with, but once you're done, you can click your image or you can select all of them. I'm just gonna click this one and then you can hit export image it's gonna add the suffix to the end so you know it was edited in Topaz and it's gonna come out as a JPEG. You can click where you wanna save it. So I'm just gonna do original folder, hit save, and you're good to go. So there you go. That's a quick tutorial on how to use Topaz Labs Photo AI software. There are a lot more features I encourage you to check out, but especially make sure you download the free trial linked in the description below. And if you could do me a favor and hit subscribe, it would really help out my channel. So with that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.